What's going on you guys? Welcome back to Northwest Trail Series. For the last week, I've had this dilemma in my head about whether I should be riding in clips or flats. And this is probably a dilemma everyone comes across. Um, when I first started mountain biking, it wasn't. I thought that riding in Clifton was absolutely crazy, so who would do that? Um, but I think in the last year, I've been pretty much just doing like cross-country style riding. Like a lot of like long loops on the uh, forest trail roads, as many miles as I can. And uh, I decided to try out some clips because I heard they were more efficient. Now I understand there's a lot of types of mountain biking. You got your enduro, your downhill, park, cross country, trail. There's, there's tons of mountain bikes to choose from and styles of mountain biking. Once you were able to lock down one of those, uh, I think at some point you will come across the question in your head, should I try out, should I be riding on clips or flats? Um, I think I got a pretty simple solution to it at this point, or at least for myself. So bear with me. Um, first off, let me say, if you are just starting mountain biking, I will confidently say flats. Just ride flats for the first year. If you're not used to being on a bike, uh, being clipped into it is not a good idea. Now I've heard people say one of the big benefits is that your feet won't fall off the pedals while you're riding. Uh, I've ridden for like three years on flats. My feet have never just fallen off the pedals before. Um, I think having a good pair of shoes and a good pair of pedals uh, is super important for that. Even with flats, your feet really shouldn't be flying off the pedals. Um, well, at least they haven't for me. So I think I would look into that first before looking at getting clip-in shoes as your solution to that. Um, the other big positive is efficiency. And this is why I, I ended up getting my own pair of clip-in shoes. I was just mostly doing the cross-country stuff, longer, longer rides. I figured I wanted to be a little more efficient, maybe make it easier to go on longer rides. And that's pretty much why I, why I decided to try them out. So the first day I got my clip-ins, I went and did like a little 10 mile ride. They, everything felt kind of weird. It felt a little off, which was kind of expected. I wasn't expecting too much out of it. Um, I was planning on going on a 20 mile ride, but after my first lap out, I was like, eh, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling done. I'll come out and do another longer ride next time. And then the next time I went out and did that, I went a little bit longer. And the third time I went out and like PR'd my longest ride, which was like 41 miles. So it was like a 10 mile PR. Um, my lower back felt amazing. My knees felt great. Uh, uh, legs felt perfect, like everything felt really good uh, after doing a big PR ride. Usually afterwards you'd be a little a little gas, a little tanked, but it was feeling pretty good. Uh, definitely made an enormous difference on efficiency, like legs felt just so good. Now I did leave my um, flats in my car. I was like, you know, just in case I end up wanting to do more of like a single track day sometime or like uh, riding around just for fun, might as well have them in the car so I could just easily switch, switch them over. Uh, and sure enough, that day did come. It was just a couple days ago. My buddy was like, hey, let's go out and just do like a single track day. And it had been raining nonstop for as long as I can remember at this point. Um, and everything was going to be super wet, super slippery. The forest was like totally flooded. And there was just a windstorm the day before we rode. So it just made sense that I'd go ride some flats today on a single track day. It'd be way safer. So that was the plan. Now, sure enough, I did start looking for those shoes and they were nowhere to be seen. Turns out they were sitting at my, in my basement. Wasn't gonna do much good for us today. We decided to go out and set out on a single track mountain biking day anyways. That was just gonna be the plan. The beginning of the ride started off just fine. As soon as we started hitting some of the single track stuff um, that I hadn't ridden before while being clipped in, uh, it became really clear to me that the risk reward sensors going off in my head were like, uh, this is sketchy. Uh, a lot of the, I probably unclipped at least a dozen times just to go around some obstacles that normally would be really easy, but become really sketchy once you can't take your feet off the pedals. Um, it was an amazing day mountain biking. It was perfect as any day mountain biking is, but I think that if I would have had the flats, it would have made it a hundred times better. And I could have done without tipping over into the bushes the couple times that I did. So if you have the dilemma about whether or not you should be riding in clips or flats, uh, here's my simple solution that I'm using for myself. I'm going to carry both in the car. Uh, if I go on a long endurance ride, cross country, going for distance, going for fitness, clip-ins for sure. If I'm going to be doing like more like uh, fun single track stuff, just like a shorter, easier, fun day, hang out with the guys, just like mess around the mountain bikes, flats for sure. Um, and that's really, I think, the only difference between which one you should be using is just that. That's really all there is to it for making that choice, for myself at least. Uh, if you can't have both, 
and you are deciding between one or the other, I'd probably start with flats. Flats is a great way to start. And if at some point you're able to come across a pair of clip-in shoes, um, they're pretty sweet for doing like really long, longer rides. And that's all there is to it. Um, all right, uh, that's that's all I got. That's all this video is about. It's just whether you should be riding clips or flats. Uh, thanks for watching all the way to this point. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, go ahead and do that now. And uh, we'll see y'all next Friday.